Today, a new report reveals prices are still high, but inflation is actually easing. CBS News senior business and tech correspondent Jolene Kent takes a look at where prices are improving the most. Food costs are getting a little easier to swallow. Government data shows grocery store prices rose less than 1% over the last year, way down from the 13% increase two years ago. And filling up is getting cheaper. Prices at the pump are down 58 cents a gallon in the past year. Oil now at its lowest level since 2021, and that's keeping gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel prices far lower than they've been in recent memory. Overall, annual inflation rose 2.5 percent. That's the smallest year-over-year -year increase since 2021. But while many everyday costs are easing, housing continues to drive inflation. Rent prices are up 5.2 percent in the last 12 months. The Federal Reserve is analyzing the data closely. It meets next week on interest rates. The Fed pushed rates to a 23-year high to bring down inflation, which also slowed the economy and the job market. The Fed understands it's time to start cutting interest rates. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger says Wall Street hopes to see a larger half-point cut, but that likely won't happen. Of course there is a possibility for a half of a percentage point drop, but I think for the first rate cut in four and a half years, they'll start with a quarter of a percentage point. The Fed could continue to cut rates later in the year. The board meets again in November and December. Jolyn Kent, CBS News, Los Angeles. And a group that watches interest rates predicts there is an 85% chance the Fed will cut them by a quarter point next week.